When I visited the training session for Orange County and Coach Charlie Brand, I was impressed with a number of things. And, and one of the, the appealing factors of this training session is what they do with their strength and fitness programs. And they do this as part of their pre-practice. Now, Orange County will come in and do uh, you know a 30-minute or so position work where they break into small groups and work on specific things within their position. So by the time they get to this aspect of their program, the players have already been in the gym for about a half hour. So they already have their core temperature raised and they, they get right into the fitness component. And I'm not going to talk through um, the entire video here. I mean, you'll be able to see a little bit of what they're doing. You know, it's but a couple things are worth worth highlighting, I think. You know, you'll see a lot of uh, dynamic range of motion flexibility exercises, which is a, a little bit what you're what you're looking at now. There'll be some plyometric movement patterns that they'll get into as this video unfolds, where there'll be some fast movement stuff, some agility things that uh, that touches the plyometric phase of, of training. They'll do some foot speed work, and then they'll, then they'll do some strengthening stations using some balancing discs, some elastic tubing for the shoulders, and some work with the abdominal core, some back core, and then some medicine ball work. So, you know, the priorities within the program are injury prevention as, as a, a main priority, and then follow closely by doing some things that are, are volleyball specific strength training, um, tools, you know. So I think it's a very well designed program. And I think the mistake so many coaches make is they think of strength training. They think barbells and heavy weights and throwing things around. And, um, and so often, especially for age group athletes, the resistance can be body weight. And, you know, the focus of this program is is certainly knee and ankle injury prevention developing shoulder strength within the range of motion that's used within our sport and certainly some core strength activity so i i was very impressed with the the job that was done and i think it's uh it's something you can certainly put into your own um, fitness component of your program on this uh, video for VTS members, I've attached additional information. So if you want more information in terms of the program, some of the tools that are being used, especially the elastic tubing used for the uh, shoulder strengthening component, um, you can download the attachments and contact Charlie um, or his strength staff specifically at uh, or I should say directly at, at the Orange County program. So uh, I, th I thought this was a job well done. I think the players are, are, are going to benefit by it. And uh, again, highly recommended fitness component to this program. I really like this drill that he's doing here in terms of, uh, you know, I, I think there's some certainly some, some balancing issues that uh, – um, that are being focused upon. Uh, I, I think volleyball players in general need to learn how to land on one foot and be balanced. You know, they're developing some, some strength around the ankle joint, the knee joint, you know, the, the hip joint. You know, so the one foot uh, landing and being balanced, I think, is, is very good stuff. As, as we're getting into, this is more of an, a, 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 you know, a, a drill to work on foot speed, you know, some, some plyometric components to this. Um, and as they go through this series of, of drills, again, this, you, you do this once you have the core, um, temperature build up. And I think anything that is plyometric in nature, as, as these are, you want to be doing at the start of of any sort of training session not at the end because plyometric by nature means you want the muscle firing quickly and if you do these types of things at the end of practice the muscle is already fatigued this is an apparatus that i've never seen before quite frankly and i think it's a a great tool both in terms of you know what it's doing for the players physically but also just the organization of it where you can have multiple players doing the same thing working in a very confined area. Um, 
you know, for more information on this apparatus, contact Charlie at Orange County. But, you know, I was very impressed with just how this was set up. You know, and, and in essence, as you can see, the players are working on, the, you know, the shoulder range of motion. You know, here we're going to, you know, tricep extension. So the components that are entailed, you know, within our sport in terms of lots of stress on the shoulders, we're trying to develop, you know, strength within that range of motion. We're doing some work now on the disc where um, we're trying to gain strength within the range of motion within the ankle joint. You know, ankle injuries are so prevalent in our sport that the stronger the joint is in a wide range of motion, the more apt we are to reduce injuries, um, you know, as players come down and are a little bit off balance. This is another creative use of elastic tubing to work on, you know, hip ad and ab and adduction where the players are, are, you know, strapped in around their ankles and then go through a, a series of foot movements that, uh, you know, again, force the body to gain strength within the ab and adductors. You know, so much of our sport is, is lateral movement and the stronger the players are in terms of stepping away and the body's ability to take long steps as you see here it will increase their range of motion and their court coverage both in terms of defense blocking and serve receive In this next clip, there's going to be a series of core exercises, um, both in terms of the ab core, uh, the back core. And again, it's, it's an area that's, you know, unfortunately not given the priority that it needs within our sport because so much of our sport is the ability to rotate the core, um, to have flex, flexion and extension of the core. So this was addressed, uh, quite extensively within the, the workout program for the Orange County players.
The last brief clip is uh, a series that they did with, with uh, medicine balls where they go through some of the motions specific to our sport. Um, and again, lifting and throwing medicine balls, doing some rotation work is, is time well spent to develop the athlete. And, you know, so again, in, in summary, this is a, I think a well conceived program. The players are going to benefit by it. And I sure there's going to be some impact upon their performance and or injury prevention within their program.